four mass-produced fake foods that are harmful to your health. There is a 94% chance that your favorite red snapper recipe didn't contain the fish at all. Stay tuned to find out why. Hey Hapthies, our topic for today will be certain foods that are manufactured in massive quantities and pose as healthy options but in reality are quite deceiving and may contain cost-cutting ingredients which are terrible for your overall health. Recently there has been an emergence of healthy organic food options in grocery stores all across the world, but the sad fact is that no matter how careful you are, there is no guarantee that the product you are purchasing is true to what is advertised. There are many ways big companies cut corners to misguide the people. It can be something like portraying a cheap product as a healthy and more premium option or diluting apparently healthy products with cheap additives to cut costs and make more money. While there is no guarantee of knowing what's actually in there, it is still important to stay vigilant and always read the ingredients and nutritional information provided on most foods you buy at the supermarkets to better judge what the contents of your daily diet are. Please stay tuned for a bonus fact at the end, and please subscribe to our channel if you like the video. Extra Virgin Olive Oil Extra Virgin Olive Oil is one product that is statistically the most faked and diluted in the world. Studies have been conducted for the last three decades to better highlight the matter which caught the eye of the media a few years ago and continues to be investigated to this day. The good part is that because the problem is so well publicized, the number of forgeries and fake products have gone down but it is still important to do your research before you buy it. Purchasing a fake bottle of olive oil has both economic and health concerns. Economically, when you pay for something premium and it turns out to be substandard, your wallet takes an unnecessary hit. Health-wise, fake and diluted bottles of olive oil often contain much cheaper and potentially allergic additives like peanut oil and soy oil. Both of these ingredients are strongly prohibited from being present in extra virgin olive oil as they zap all of the flavor and health benefits of the original product. Before 2016, most extra virgin olive oil options contained these two ingredients without them even being mentioned on the bottles. The problem was identified by the US Congress in 2016 and made illegal, but the fraud continues elsewhere. One of the most disastrous examples of diluted olive oil is the infamous incident that happened in Spain in 1981. It was estimated that around 20,000 people consumed a product posing as olive oil, but turned out to be a low-grade rapeseed oil which contained a highly poisonous substance called aniline. Aniline can affect the eyes, skin, and the respiratory system of the body. Seafood Most of the times you go to a restaurant or your local supermarket to pick up some fish, statistically, there is a higher chance that it is a cheap alternative to the product you are paying top dollar for. This is one of the most common and well-documented instances of deceptive practices worldwide and has existed for decades. This practice is called species substituting and has become so common that an expert in DNA testing has stated that whenever you order an expensive fish, particularly red snapper, there is a 94% chance that it is a cheap substitute. Since it is one of the most sought after types of fish, vendors usually defraud the customer by packaging a cheaper substitute like tilapia, tilefish, or even Asian farmed catfish into similar looking fillets and labeling it as the much more expensive red snapper. The customer is usually none the wiser and the scammer makes a decent profit on the sale. Sometimes the difference can be up to $20 a pound. This practice can have dangerous health consequences, especially for children and pregnant women. This is because tilefish, which is one of the most common substitutes, is full of mercury and the FDA advises people with sensitive health conditions to avoid it completely. Additionally, popular fish like wild salmon and lemon sole are also regular victims of this scam, as vendors usually pass off the less desirable and much cheaper farmed salmon as the more preferred wild variety. A study conducted in New York alone found that people who ordered lemon sole got a cheap substitute instead for 88% of the time. Another commonly faked seafood is lobster. A study in 2017 concluded by DNA testing that of the 28 restaurants checked, 35% of the samples contained much cheaper imitation products such as whiting and langostino. Organic Foods Another popular food group which is naturally healthy and sought after are organic foods. Because of their high costs and large demand, they too have unfortunately been affected by scams in the marketplace. In fact, a series of investigative articles by the Washington Post identified that massive amounts of fraudulently labeled grains such as corn and soybean were making their way into U.S. consumers' hands more than ever before. In one instance, it was discovered that big 36 million ton shipment of soybeans was fraudulently labeled as organic when it landed in the U.S. 
This increased its potential value in the market by millions of dollars while the product still retained all the pesticides and other harmful chemicals that actually organic food is not allowed to contain. This one shipment alone accounted for around 6% of annual corn imports and 4% of soybean imports, suggesting that the problem may be more prevalent than we realize. Another worrying problem is that most of this wrongly labeled produce usually makes its way into animal feed and results in meat that is sold as organic at exorbitant prices. This problem extends to most foods that are sold as organic such as milk, honey, and seafood. There are very few ways to go around this problem, but they all require some oversight on your part. It is wise to avoid purchasing imported organic foods as they are easy to mislabel and are more prone to scams. Trusting your local products and even visiting the farmer's market near you are the best ways to pick up fresh, healthy, and organic produce. Additionally, locally grown produce has much stricter laws and oversight which makes it harder for people to defraud you. Wine and Champagne As they are two beverages that have huge demand and some of the fancier stuff fetching dizzying prices, it comes as no surprise that the wine and champagne industry also have their fair share of scams and frauds. The fact of the matter is that the name of the product carries significant weight and tells you about the quality of the ingredients and the proficiency of the process it was made with. This is especially true for wine. For example, when a wine is classified as a Burgundy, it must follow a specific set of rules that defines that product. In the case of Red Burgundy, it cannot be made from anything other than 100% pure Pinot Noir grapes that have been grown in certain designated areas that meet the quality standards. The problem is that the market has recently been flooded with copycat wines that deceive the customer by labeling them as a premium product, but in reality, they are mass-produced locally with substandard ingredients with no regard for the storied history and pedigree that these brands have built for themselves over centuries. For these reasons, purchasing these beverages can come at a big risk if you are not careful. It is important to research the ingredients and the place where they were grown and processed to reduce your risk of being defrauded. It may be a tricky business, but reading labels is your best bet for confirming the quality of the product. While these fraudulent practices need to be stopped, in today's bonus fact we would like to tell you about a massive problem plaguing most Asian countries when it comes to fake foods. While diluting and substituting is one thing, what is even worse is that in China there is a growing trend of counterfeit foods. These are edible food items that have been artificially manufactured to resemble the shape and flavor of the actual product, but in reality are made with harmful ingredients which even sometimes include plastic. Things like peas, rice, and noodles are among just a tiny portion of the massive $653 billion a year industry. Fake peas are mass-produced by combining soybeans, snow peas, sodium metabisulfite, and coloring, while noodles are made with harmful additives, rotten grain, and plastic. There you have it, guys, some of the foods you should be cautious about purchasing if you don't have proper knowledge of where and how they were manufactured. There is no reason to settle for substandard food when you are already paying a premium to buy these supposedly healthy products. Thanks for watching, and please hit that subscribe button if you learned something new today. Do you think you may have been defrauded with fake food before? Please share your experience in the comments below.